let me guess, you want to start up a social media marketing agency. You have been looking up YouTube videos, you've been reading blogs, and you've been doing as much as you can to try to find out what you need to do to start selling marketing services online. But the problem is you're not a marketer and don't have any marketing experience. So how can you, somebody with little to no experience, start selling a premium product to business owners and content creators? Well, in today's video, we're going to talk about all of those things. So don't you worry, just hang tight. We're going to skip all of the extra fluff and we're just going to hop right into it. Basically, the way I see it, there are two ways that you can get started with no experience. I would say pick one of these two, but to be honest, it would be a really good idea if you found a way to mix a little bit of both of them. And these two preliminary things are studying and practice. I'm going to be super honest. There are literally no shortcuts. If you want to be a professional, if you want to charge clients 500, 600, 1200, and some of my bigger clients $2,500 a month, you need to be giving them double, if not triple that same amount of money in value. But in order to do that, you have to be able to do things like recognize trends, understanding KPIs, know how to read data, know how to look at effective content, and most importantly, explain to business owners how your service can bring back a positive ROI in their business. Which is where this first method, studying, is so, so important. You have to spend countless hours studying the game of digital marketing. Like, I need you to read every single marketing book that you can get your hands on. Go watch every episode of Gary V's 4Ds, where literally he sits as a marketing expert and consults businesses basically all over the world on how they can start taking advantage of social media marketing. I am not kidding when I say I need you to go watch every single YouTube video that you can. Because whenever you don't know what you're doing, you at least need to learn the fundamentals. Now, I'm going to go on the limb here and say that you don't have a lot of money or at the very least aren't willing to spend thousands of dollars to go get like a mentor similar to how I did and figure out the ins and outs of digital marketing. So what you need to do is start piecing together information from a lot of different sources and truly study the game of how do I become a really great marketer. The next thing that you need to do is practice. Now, practice is interesting. Like I said, I've done both of these methods. I literally still do both of them all the time. But practice is the one, in my experience, that has gained me the most benefit. And whenever I say practice, you guys know I've talked about it a ton. I have a lot of dropshipping experience, a lot of e-commerce experience, a lot of me starting up uh, a personal brand. Even whenever we talk about theme pages that I ran before in the past, different Naruto accounts, because, you know, I'm a huge anime nerd, or even lots of makeup accounts, food accounts, literally finding some type of niche and figuring out how do I make really great content of this? How do I take advantage of the algorithm? And most importantly, how do I put something in front of somebody that is not only engaging, but is something that they constantly want to see more of every single day? Like I said a little bit earlier, for me, figuring out these things in large part came from starting up an e-commerce brand. But that is literally a completely different business. Now, what I did was I learned from that business and simply just applied everything I did for my own stores and gave that same advice to my clients in the business that I run now. And while that is a really, really long path to get to where you want to go, it is one that I do strongly recommend because you get to spend your own money to learn very, very difficult lessons. And whenever you're talking to business owners like I do every single day and they ask you a question that you're going to hear a lot, why should I hire you? Your answer can be, well, because I've spent my own money, not just play money, not just other people's money, and I've been able to generate success. But that's also not super realistic for everybody. So that is why I recommend seriously sitting down and figuring out for you. Is it you taking time to figure out how to build a personal brand? Is it you starting up a theme page around a hobby that you have that you like a lot? Is it you figuring out how do you make really, really great UGC content? Literally, it can be anything, but you need to be practicing digital marketing before you ever start thinking about selling it as a service. Studying and practice literally are the two most important things when it comes to learning anything new, and it is no different when it comes to building a social media marketing agency. You guys have made it this far in the video, so I give you a little bit of secret sauce and expose my business and how even though I still execute on these two, I can get away with a little bit of a shortcut in my business. If you're a client, the first thing that you do is you hop on a sales call with me. The sales calls are literally where I spend all of my time trying to perfect my craft and figure out how can I position myself as the most important, the best, literally the expert in solving whatever my customer's problem is. And usually it's getting more attention or getting more sales through social media. 
Now, let's say you're my client. You get on a sales call with me. You say, man, this guy Canva is amazing. He knows everything he's talking about. I want to hire him for my business. Next thing that happens is we go through the entire onboarding process. And then you meet your actual social media manager, which is not me, which is a freelancer or a contractor that I hire in to do a lot of my day-to-day -day work. You see, whenever I sign somebody on, I'm very clear up front that I am not their day-to-day -day social media manager. I am only the person that lays out the content and marketing plan for my clients. I have a social media manager, like a contractor or freelancer that comes in and they actually execute on that plan. Now, what that means for you is if you find a really good social media manager, if you find a really, really good contractor whose skills that you can leverage, what you can do to buy yourself a little bit more time is simply approach them and just say, hey, I wanna pay you 150, I wanna pay you two, $300 per client, where every time I close a client, I bring them to you, you manage this client for me, and I focus on going and close the next client. When it comes to buying yourself a little bit more time that you can spend either studying or practicing, that is probably my biggest, and I mean my biggest and most practical tip for what you can do to help speed up your process, even if it's just a little bit. Be warned though, you need to understand what a good social media manager is, which is why you're gonna spend your time studying and practicing over here while your social media manager is handling a lot of smaller clients up front. You need to understand KPIs. You literally need to understand if a social media manager is even good at their job and you're gonna use everything in your studying and your practicing to be able to measure up and see, is this person actually performing the way that I need them to? If you guys stay consistent to these two things and implement that third little secret sauce one, then I promise you will be on to running your first successful social media marketing agency in literally no time. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna be a grind, but you can do it. Keep your head up, pace yourself, and grind day by day. Until next time, guys, we'll talk soon. Peace.